Hey, what's up, guys? Ivan Temelkov here from uh, digitalwebstrategist.com. Um, this is episode five of The Digital Marketer. Um, it has been about a year since the last time I recorded one of these shows, and there was a reason why. Uh, first of all, before we move any further, uh, I'm amped up and ready to go. I got my glass of white wine, and on the background, you might be hearing some noise. That's the TV. Uh, currently, I'm keeping tabs on the World Series, um, the KC Royals versus the San Francisco Giants. Uh, being a St. Louis Cardinals fan and being here in St. Louis, well, unfortunately, they didn't advance. However, seeing the uh, KC Royals uh, is something that's of, of interest to me. So, a little bit about the show, though. For those of you that are unfamiliar with the show, The Digital Marketer is a show that really covers current trends and patterns in the digital marketplace. Everything from content marketing initiatives, social media, search, uh, pay-per-click advertising, uh, and really talking about the digital realm, everything that's currently happening. Wanted to make sure that you guys are in the know constantly of what's happening in the marketplace, what are people doing, what's hot, what you should be doing uh, for your brand to advance visibility and awareness in the marketplace. With that being said, uh, without I forget, make sure, please, subscribe to my channel. I would really, really appreciate it and work extremely hard to make sure that I'm delivering targeted content to you guys, targeted content to you guys on a regular basis. Having said that, the frequency of the show will increase. Um, I have taken some time to really consider the approach of the show and the format and really put some structure around it. With that being said... I want to dive into something um, that was of particular interest to me. Um, through particular things that I learned from my dad about um, about U.S. business. Yes, believe it or not, family can actually help you learn about business. Um, since the age of 13, you know, I've had deep interest in business. While other 13-year-olds were uh, out running around, riding their bikes, and getting into shenanigans, business was on my mind. Keep in mind... This was around the time, 13 years old, when I was moving uh, to the U.S. For many of those who don't know, uh, I'm originally from Eastern Europe. I was born in Bulgaria and moved to the United States at the age of 13. So while this was happening, when I moved, keep in mind a lot of peer pressure, uh, fitting in, the language barrier, it was a very, very tough time to adapt. However, for some odd reason or another, business was something that was in the back of my mind. Really looking into the future and considering, like any other kid, what is it that you want to become one day? Now, my dad's story really resembles with mine in many ways, uh, simply because of his work ethic. Um, and there were three different things that he really taught me. Um, one of the first things was that hard work always pays dividends. No matter what you do, hard work will always pay off. If you put in the time, the success shall follow. Um, an example, in the early years, my, my father owned a small Pete's joint shop. And at the age of 13, obviously while going to school, getting off the bus, uh, after school, I would go and visit at his pizza joint. So almost daily, I would see my father put in hard labor, putting hard work and ensuring that Fresh products, fresh dough, uh, fresh fresh ingredients were available to his customers in his pizza shop, regardless of what is it that he was doing. Um, and that was his dedication. That was something that he really put some valiant work in because he believed that hard work would pay off. So to those of you out there, entrepreneurs, business owners, this is put in the hard work. It will pay off, especially for those that are considering startups. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is, is that I really learned from my father was dedication. Dedication is commitment and caring. If you dedicate yourself to your audience, to your customers, they will take note of that. Uh, in the example of my father, he used to put in 12 to 16 hour days, Monday through Saturday. It was exhausting physically and mentally, and it would take a toll on the family. Keep in mind, at the time, I was 13 years old, 
Um, my sister was 11 years old, and of course, my my mother at the time was also experiencing a language barrier. You know, having to adapt to a different culture, um, and obviously acclimating herself. So, dedication, having put in that time, also and that commitment was unprecedented. His customers at his place of business at the pizza place took note and they continued to return simply because my father and his employees and his family, uh, myself and my sister and my mother, I was to put in the time and the dedication to help them succeed. So be dedicated to your clients, to your customers. They will take notice of that, I guarantee you. Sooner or later, it will come to fruition. And the last thing that I, I learned from my father, from his business, was that consistency shows dependence. Believe it or not, consistency is one of the key ingredients to success. Customers, your clients, want to feel a sense of dependability and trust while being able to gauge the pattern in a product or a service that they're uh, getting from you. So whatever it is that you're offering or a product that you're selling, keep in mind, be consistent with it because your customers and your clients will be appreciative of that. So in in, in my father's pizza joint, he was very, very consistent. You know, um, he would ensure that, you know, uh, the place open uh, up and on time every single day. Uh, making sure that the quality of the food and the service um, was exceptional, making sure that there was consistency in the sense of accountability and the expectations that the customers could acquire from their experience by coming in, whether it was for lunchtime or dinner. And keep in mind, we had one of the best lunches at the time. So the three things that I wanted to share with you guys is this, in the digital marketplace, there's three things that you need to consider strongly. Hard work always pays dividends. Dedication is commitment and caring. And number three, consistency shows dependence. So make sure you keep those three things in mind. I guarantee you uh, these are three golden nuggets that I have practice in the course of my career that have significantly contributed to the advancement. I almost guarantee you practice those, master them, and you will see a great result. So without without being said, I'm really excited uh, to be resuming the show. Again, thank you for watching episode five of The Digital Marketer. And before I forget, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I would really, really appreciate it. Until next time, guys. This is Ivan Temelkov from The Digital Marketer. Thank you for watching.